Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Ooh, okay, Capricorn energy, the devil, some, all right. There could be a soul tie, a bond here between you and your person. Attachments for some of you all. For some of y'all, this could be toxic. Show me current energy here, but we'll see. Mm. First card out is the devil. And the Empress. All right. Taurus energy. Someone here may be obsessed with the Divine Feminine. They may be obsessively thinking about the Divine Feminine. If you resonate as the Divine Feminine, this person is thinking about you. They're attached to you. And the Ten of Cups is here. Situation could involve family, friends. I don't know. You could have a family. You could have children. Maybe you have children with this person. For some of you all, you do. Um, some of you all, you don't. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Somebody feels alone and left out in the cold here. Ten of Cups. Energy is like... The happiness is wherever the, this divine feminine is. The happiness is wherever the divine feminine is. Three of swords, two of swords. Mm. Show me the current energy between. Okay, that's too many spirits. Somebody's holding on to you. We had a bunch of cards come out, but only one flipped over, and that is the four of pentacles. Somebody, we already saw the five of pentacles, right? The five of pentacles is like feeling abandoned, alone, lack mindset. Um... You know, not not feeling very well. You know, somebody is just going through a rough time. Maybe even somebody could be going through some form of financial constraint here. Whatever it is, though, whoever the person is that's obsessively thinking about you has some form of attachment. Four of Pentacles are holding on to it tightly. Show me what else here. We have water energy here, too. Three of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. Show me more. Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like Divine Feminine, you're getting your bag here. Seven of Swords. Oh, I don't like this. Knight of, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Uh, Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands, you guys. Somebody's planning. Bottom of the deck is a Two of Wands. Somebody's planning to like. For some of y'all, for those of you, I'm just going to say this because I could, I see two scenarios here, okay? Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands is all player energy. Somebody's trying to sneak away to go have fun and that's it, okay? They're trying to sneak away and go have fun from, have fun from somebody else. They're trying to skip and dip away from somebody else. You know what I'm saying? This is like slide energy. Like, uh, um, I forget the, the term we call it nowadays. But but anyway, so, yeah. Listen, I just feel like, though, there's a... Let, let me see about this Queen of Pentacles real quick. For some of you all, if there's not a third party, this person just, you know, their behavior is toxic. They they like they don't they like to have more than one option. Okay, this person has more than one option. They got several. They have more than two. All right, the tower moment. Something unexpected is getting ready to happen here. Show me more about this tower moment. What was that? Death card energy. Scorpio energy. I meant with. So we got the death card and the tower here. <laughs> Something shockingly ended here. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Somebody wants to say, I'm sorry because they've been thinking about you. Pisces energy with the hangman. Somebody might be seeing something from a different perspective. What else? Five of Pentacles came right back out. You and this person had some form of ending. You did. Or maybe they're shot getting ready to end something else and come towards you, the chariot here. Cancer energy. There goes that hangman again and that page of cups. This person wants to talk. Three of swords. Libra energy. I'm telling you, this person is dealing with and having a hard, rough time here. They cannot stop thinking about you. I feel like they're obsessively thinking. <sighs> Let's see what this is about, please. Show me. I, get, I think this person's been waiting for you to say something to them. 
there's a lot of passion and chemistry with this person, but somebody here is closed off and guarded. They really don't want to talk or they resisted something here. Or this could be you resisting it. Hmm. Hold on. There's some gossip happening here. Somebody could have gone to jail. Somebody could have gone to jail here. I don't know what's happening. And this is weird, like way off. For some of y'all, this person may have gone to jail. Okay. So somebody here is on a spiritual divine feminine here. In this case, I feel like that's you. You're headed down a new spiritual path of enlightenment and awakening. So if you, if you resonate as the divine feminine, then you're going through some form of awakening period right now. That's what's been happening to you. Uh, yeah, you've been releasing and purging. You've been releasing and purging. This person loves you. Somebody says, I love you here. That's on the top of the deck here. But see, this person can't be trusted, like I said, with the Seven of Swords being here and the Knight of Wands. It's just... To, some of you guys may hear from this person, person like today or very soon. They may tell you they love you today or whenever you see this video. Okay. What else here? Yeah, you definitely cut this off. Somebody's not talking. For some of you all, this person could be blocked. But this, this person may call you today. Cleansing you. But you've cleansed your energy. Like I said, you've released. You've purged. You've let go of something here. And I really feel like you guys are feeling unfazed about the whole situation. You don't care. Or your person could have been unfazed and, and treated you. Didn't treat you the way they should have treated you when they had you, right? Because the energy that came up earlier was closed off and guarded. Again, I do feel like that's the current energy of the Divine Feminine, but it definitely could have been the Divine Masculine uh, when the two of you were together. It's almost like when you, you separate yourself, then this person is just like obsessively thinking about you. But I feel like they had multiple options here. They had multiple people. This person wants to come towards you and offer something. I'm telling you, for some of y'all, that might be, let's go have drinks. Let's hang out. I think they just feel like a lack of control of the situation because you're not speaking to them right now. You're not talking to them, and they feel like they don't have control. That's what this is. Yeah, they feel like they don't have control because there is some physical distance between the two of you. You've purged and released. You're not really talking to them. You're doing fine. This person's in five of pentacles, three of swords, two of swords, four of pentacles, energy, devil energy. Like, I... <sighs> Look at this. Only you came out in reverse. This person may love you, but I'm telling you, I feel like this person has multiple people, at least three um, show me more here about this situation. So what does this person want with the collective then? What does this person want with the, that somebody is gossiping. They may want to talk to you about something they heard about you for some of you guys. They may want to know, what, what, why does this person want to talk to the collective? Why do they want to talk to the collective? They're, they want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I said, the Seven of Swords with the Knight of Wands is here. And now somebody wanting to sneak away and go do something they're not supposed to be doing because they got multiple people coming out here. Um, and even for some of you all, a commitment. Also, too, I feel like this person is running away from a current situation. They're trying to run away from a current situation where they're experiencing a bunch of gossip or drama or whatever or they want and they want to come towards you and tell you about the gossip and the drama that they're going through in their life but again they still want to you see what i'm saying with the love affair dirty little secret down low so this is your choice here okay spirit is saying this is your choice this is i mean yeah i feel like somebody here because divine union just came out in reverse I feel like you and this person were like they they turned this connection into a, into a karmic connection. They were sent to this your person was sent to you, you were sent to them and you were divine counterparts and this person just is in all this crazy energy here. <laughs> and they turned the whole thing karmic because of their behavior, which is why you distanced yourself and you released and you purged. And now you're on this spiritual ascension and you're closed off and you're guarded. 
Dude, I'm telling you, somebody's in your business looking you up. Like I said, they may call you or text you or something today. What else? Whoa, what was that? Telepathic dreams and songs. So some of you guys are dreaming about this person. Some of you, um, you know, you might they might have heard a song on the radio that reminded you of them. Definitely dreams and some, some form of synchronicity or something here. What else? Somebody's getting desperate and they want to talk to you. I'm telling you they want to talk to you. They have something to tell you. This person has something to tell you. And for some of you all, it's that they're ending something or they're going through some form of drama. Okay, now we have facade and beliefs in reverse. So that's good. So if somebody's no longer wearing, wants to wear a false self mask or they could have realized the person that they were with were wearing a false self mask here. It's like maybe this person's coming out of some form of illusion about this other person. Somebody got the inside scoop or some gossip or something came out here. A closer look, nosy, in your business, threatened, embarrassed appearances. What 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 is this person embarrassed about? Uh, ooh, a wolf's in sheep clothing and coming in after you. Justice, balance, and karma in reverse. Whoever this person settled for, it's not a good look over there. Whoever this person is settling with is not a good look over there. I'm telling you, it's not a good look, you guys. Show me more here. This, I told you this person wants to talk to you, okay? They have not taken action. We have action. They haven't taken action towards you yet, but they're about to. For some of you all, maybe they did, but most of you all, this person hasn't taken any action. Like, they want to call you. They're going to be calling you or texting you or something. They have been texting you and then deleting it or calling you and then deleting it. You know, why is, what's going on with this person? Why, why haven't they sent this message? Okay. Okay. This person needs to travel to you. Yeah, somebody, <laughs> love triangle energy just came out. There is obsessive behavior. There is, yeah. Listen, this person wants to reconcile with you, just be, but just be mindful that there's still some karmic energy attached to this. I don't know if it's your person. I definitely feel like your person has some karmic ways. Also, too, there's still some love triangle energy here. All right, third party. This says multiple lovers and choices. Like I said, this person had at least three. Um, separation just came out in longing. Okay, so like I said, this person is longing and missing you. They want to come travel towards you. Like I said, for some of y'all, you don't live in the same city, state, country. They are want to come towards you and make an offer, but just be mindful. You know what's so funny? This <laughs> this is like a rose. Y'all know what a rose is? This is like a rose. I'm telling you, it's some, something freaking going to be happening. But anywho, it, if that's what you choose, okay, you have free will. You can do whatever you like. However, I do, for some of y'all, this person is going to come towards you and tell you some gossip that's been happening and, and some drama that's been happening. Uh, um, but I feel like that's just temporary. It's not. There's still some other stuff. But this person is still undecided about what they want to do. You know, they're still undecided. So just keep that in mind. Somebody is definitely watching you. Whatever they see when they watch you, it, it looks really good. They really like the way you look. So this person has access to you however they have access to you. Whether it's social media, the internet, maybe you work together. I don't know. Moving. Change of residence. Moving. Hmm. Okay, maybe the gossip is somebody's moving. And then we have no came out in reverse. Why is no here? Air sign. Some of you guys, this person is a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Why is no here in reverse? Spirit could be telling you to say yes to an air sign. That could be somebody totally different. Hmm. What is this? somebody's trying to go on a vacation and travel and go somewhere to have sex. I'm just telling you. I don't know what any other way to say this. A 
All right. I feel like that's what this is. All right. So show me this person's intentions then. Other than that, what else? What other intentions does this person have towards my collective? Guilty. This person feels guilty. About what they did. Yeah, they were dishonest. They lied. I mean, lying all the time. I feel like you guys argue quite a bit over their dishonesty. Yeah. Look at this person is struggling. Confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. And reunion, we will always come back to each other. So this person thinks that they're going to always be able to come back towards you whenever they want to. Hope. I haven't given up on us yet. And then we have soul contract. The lessons I've learned from us will never be forgotten. Like I said, there's a soul tie. Um, you know, something very like, yeah, damaged. We're both hurting from so This person feels like the both of you guys are hurt from the separation. I don't feel like you're hurt. Your your energy, I don't feel like you're hurt. Mm -mm. I feel like you're, you feel like you're doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you know. Um, ah, I can't believe I just said that. You know who says that? Um, Cosmic Royal. I love her. I love her. Did I watch her today? I'm like, why am I saying that? Because I've, I've never said that on this channel. Anyway, shout out to you. Love you, Cosmic Royal. Um, but yeah, just be mindful when you talk to this person, what's going on with them. So if you're going to do anything, talk to them. Just, just maybe ask some questions, dig a little deeper, try to find out what's really going on. Don't take this person's, what they say to you at face value right away. Anywho, so I love y'all.